In this video, we'll take a look at Hapara's Teacher Dashboard application for Google Apps. First, you'll need to sign into your Google Apps account, as I've done here, and in a separate tab, you'll enter teacherdashboard.appspot.com forward slash your domain name. In our case, it's eths202.org. And after you kind of approve the linkage between Teacher Dashboard and your Google account, you will then be taken to the screen, which should be your class list. And so from this screen, what you can do is you can click on any class, and it'll take you to your class roster. It'll be given your student names and a list of documents that are in a shared Google folder that uh, has been set up on the back end. Now, way, the way Teacher Dashboard works is it sets up a folder for each student with your class title, and it's linked directly to your teacher or your Google Drive account. Now, instead of looking on the back end, because you can see all of this on Google Drive, it, uh, Teacher Dashboard gives you a nice visual display of this setup. So all you need to do is take a look at your students and then hover over a document for a preview and you can click on the document to actually go into that essay or presentation or spreadsheet and you'll be able to have edit uh, privileges on that document. So it's very nice for real-time feedback um, and uh, collaboration and editing from the teacher's end and it gives you the ability to look at any document that a student shared with you at any time. Uh, another tab that's some availability, we haven't used this as much yet, but is the class calendar. So if you click on this, you are able to access a calendar that's been set up for your class, and you can put events in there as needed. Going back to the documents list here, I wanted to talk about some sorting options. Here, what it can do is you can sort by student first name, student last name, and class group. And you have a couple more options for sorting. But this is a nice feature if you want to quickly sort by first or last name, your uh, dashboard list. Uh, next, you have these class group settings. So I can actually designate specific colors for various groups. So if I wanted to have red be group one and green be group two, I can go ahead and change those names and indicators. And I can put students into groups by clicking on the color icon that's to the left of their name. Next, I want to talk about here where uh, the default is to show just three documents on the uh, home screen for the dashboard, but you can expand that to anywhere from five to 25 docs so that you can quickly uh, get a glimpse of any all the documents that have been shared in your uh, class folder. Similarly, if you want to narrow things down, you can use the filter. And so if I want to look for essays that have maybe college uh, in them, I can type that into the filter and I now see any uh, essays that have been written that have the word college in the title. So I can do quick filters for that. So those are some of the features in the teacher dashboard home screen for uh, documents. You also have access, depending on your settings, to Gmail so you can see student in, uh, mailboxes. And then sharing, I like this tab a lot, just in case students don't uh, share something with you, they didn't uh, share a file in their class folder with you, you can go onto the sharing tab and you can look at anything that has been either unshared or has been made public, has been shared with external email addresses, or just get a quick glance of every single document in their uh, Google Drive. You can also look, look through their documents trash and their Picasso web albums if enabled. Same thing here, you can sort, group, and filter uh, using these options on the right. Finally, the last tab here is the class info tab. And this is a great tab for uh, a quick view of your rosters, uh, your class resources, so an email address for your class, as well as a class folder. And I really like this. This is a great way for you to copy paste whole student email address list. So if you wanted to create a contact in your Google Contacts that has every student in your uh, first period or second period or whatnot, you, you can just go ahead and copy this and paste into a Google contact. Finally, you have the uh, student list available as well as a CSV and a tab delimited list. And what this allows you to do is to export this data perhaps into a program that, such as Kia, let's say, where you need to quickly upload student rosters and you don't have to type them all out. You have the ability to, to get your information, at least for our case, first name, last name, and email address uh, exported out as a CSV or tab delimited file. So, uh, to conclude, this has been a quick overview of Teacher Dashboard. Really, the, the main um, uses for Teacher Dashboard, what we use it a lot for, is real-time feedback. The ability to quickly open a document that has been shared with a teacher by the student and give them feedback on that document as soon as they start writing.